podcast has been out for over 10 years now, and it's amazing to me that still to this day, I learn things that you can do that I didn't know before. Not too long ago, I did a video on keyboard shortcuts, and now it's time for Safari. The first shortcut is long pressing on the back button or the forward button in Safari. This is an easy way to skip back or forward a few pages. I find this especially useful when you click on something that brings up, I guess, sort of those inescapable pop-ups where you hit the back button but nothing happens. So when you long press on it, it brings up your history and you can jump back to where you were. The second one is the long press on the refresh button up here to request a desktop site of the current site that you're looking at. I find this especially useful because not all sites are optimized for mobile viewing. And it's a much faster way than going through the share menu and finding the request desktop site button here. Third is the long press on the tab key down in the corner here. This brings up a few options. You can close all the tabs you have open, close the current tab, open a new private tab, or open a new tab. Again, this is just another quick way to access all of these actions. There are other ways to do this, but this is just an easier way to do it. Fourth is long press on the add new tab icon, which shows you your recently closed tabs. I like to use this because I leave a bunch of websites open as tabs if I want to come back to them, and sometimes I accidentally close one. So I can just come here, long press, and it'll list it right there and I can reopen it. Finally is the long press on the bookmarks icon. This is just another quick way where you can add a bookmark or add a page to a reading list. Again, there is another way to do this. It's located up in the share menus when you can, and there you can click add bookmark. But it's much faster to long press on the bookmark icon. So those are the five shortcuts that I like to use when using Safari. Thank you for watching.